Faye Greer has lived with Richard Harper in this Austin home for about two and a half years. It's changed tremendously. Greer is referring to her neighborhood, Edinburgh Gardens. And all of a sudden, we started seeing all these for sale signs in the neighborhood, and we said, something's going on. First the signs, then the letters. We get these letters once a week. We get them all the time. It never fails. We're going to the mailbox and they're there. Harper has been in Austin a bit longer, 11 years. Half of these houses one here was a brand new subdivision. And never imagined his house would have this type of interest. Well, they've offered me nice profit, but I'm, I'm content right here. So I wanted to see what other homeowners had to say. Primarily here, it's just been our little island. We're a quiet community. Wes Ferris lives here with his wife and two kids and has a similar story to most of these homeowners. We get, I mean, at least one or two a week and it'll look like someone will look like a handwritten note like it was a, like my mother sent a letter to us or something. Austin Board of Realtors President Kevin Scanlon says many of these letters are from what they call I buyers. Large companies that have major financing in the hundreds of millions and even billions of dollars. Then investors within the company will try to purchase the home below market value, but with a sped up process. Sometimes five, uh, seven, ten days, and they're going to be able to have the convenience of selling quickly. We did reach out to one of the people who is sending these cards, Jay Colley. He is here in Austin, but declined to talk on camera. He told us he sees this area of Austin on the brink of expansion, hoping to benefit financially. Truly, the growth north, northwest, south, southwest, and now especially starting in the eastern corridor of Austin, that growth is really driving economic development. If you need anything, just let me know, babe. For these two, though, they have no interest in selling. They just wonder why all these home buyers are interested in their neighborhood. These people know, I mean, I'm seriously, these people know that something's up. So you heard many of those homeowners talk about these letters they've been getting. Well, I have one right in here, the one that you saw in the story. And you can see that it doesn't look like a normal business card. Many of these are meant to look like a handwritten letter or a personal letter as well.